Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for joining us on TCM, where we are one week into 31 days of Oscar. Tonight, our lineup is made up of Oscar winners for Best Original Story. Up next, something of a hybrid. It's a romantic drama from Warner Brothers, but also a bit of a romantic comedy. From 1932, William Powell and Kay Francis star in One Way Passage. Francis plays a socialite on an ocean liner sailing from Hong Kong to San Francisco. Powell is on the boat, too. Their characters had met earlier and fallen hard for each other at a Hong Kong bar. They're thrilled to see each other again, but each is harboring a serious secret. The year of the film's release is important, 1932, making this a pre-code picture, an era before the Hollywood Production Code office, the censors, got serious about movie content they thought might corrupt a delicate moral fiber of American audiences, and worse, hurt business at the box office. The result here is a story that, while perhaps a bit far-fetched, is steeped in genuine human drama and a real sense of potential loss. Had the movie been released two years later, anyone with a sense of how stories are told on screen could have predicted the ending. But not here. It's unclear what will happen, so there's a tension percolating throughout the picture, even though at times the film does play like a screwball comedy. Running a well-paced 68 minutes, it feels like you live a lifetime with these characters, a tribute to both the script and the performances. This was Francis and Powell's sixth and final pairing on screen, arguably their best. A couple of years after One Way Passage, Powell moved from Warner's to MGM, where he began his long-running screen partnership with Myrna Loy. One Way Passage was an immediate hit with both critics and audiences. TCM's longtime host, Robert Osborne, was a big fan of this film, considering it one of the great big-screen love stories. It won the Oscar for Best Original Story. That award went to Robert Lord, but the credit was not entirely accurate. More on that after the movie. From 1932, directed by Tay Garnett, with gowns designed by Ori Kelly, here are Kay Francis and William Powell in One Way Passage. William Powell wasn't especially excited about One Way Passage and preferred the other two films he made at Warner Brothers in 1932, Lawyer Man and Jewel Robbery, which also co-starred Kay Francis. But neither of those were as popular as the romantic comedy slash melodrama you just saw. Even at the height of the Depression, One Way Passage was a major box office hit, and the film went on to win an Oscar for Best Original Story. The award went to producer Robert Lord, who was credited with the idea for the story, but that credit wasn't entirely accurate. While Lord did come up with the initial concept, the film's director, Tay Garnett, wrote the story treatment. There are conflicting accounts of how credit was finally decided. In his autobiography, Garnett wrote that he refused to take credit, while other sources say he intended to take credit, but executive producer Hal Wallace advised against it. In any case, the Oscar went to Robert Lord. Coming up, more of our 31 Days of Oscar lineup featuring Academy Award winners for Best Original Story. Doris Day is shaking the blues away in a dramatic biopic inspired by the true story of torch singer Ruth Edding and the gangster who made her a star. 1955, Love Me or Leave Me is next on TCM. Next on TCM, Love Me or Leave Me, then the Stratton story, and later, 49th Parallel. TCM makes a break for it tonight.